Hello my lovelies, welcome to my little cottage by the sea, the place where I love to stitch and craft my way to a vintage inspired and sustainable lifestyle. In today's video I'm going to be sharing some of my most favourite vintage and thrifted finds. As I've been sorting out my wardrobe recently and being reacquainted with some of my most favourite vintage and thrifted finds, I thought it'd be really interesting to share that with you. On the whole, as you know, I make most of my clothes and I would say that about 80% of my wardrobe is actually handmade by myself in my little cottage by the sea. As part of my sustainable lifestyle, my first port of call after making something myself would be vintage and charity shops as we call them here in England. And those are the places where I tend to pick up lots of things, shoes, jumpers, cardigans and so on. And over the years I've been very, very lucky to find some incredible pieces. And I've also been very lucky in that people have very kindly given me for birthdays, Christmas, some lovely vintage things. And I actually have a couple of things that I've managed to keep hold of all the way from my dressing up box when I was a little kiddly wink. So I just wanted to share some of my favourite pieces with you. There's a lot that I'm not sharing because really we would be here forever. But I've selected some of the things that I truly love and even if I may not wear them all the time, they are of great sentimental value for me. A little disclaimer just before we dive into these wardrobe treasures from my very own wardrobe here in my little cottage by the sea. I'm not actually trying all of these things on. You will see some of these items styled up at some point fairly soon. I apologise, it's just so freezing cold in my cottage by the sea. I've got all my thermals under my blouse and I just really am not feeling like getting changed and trying things on. Apologies. I've selected a few garments to share with you today and some accessories and most of these things I do mix and match with my handmade items to create vintage inspired outfits. I'm starting with outerwear and the first thing that I want to show you is this rather fabulous 1930s leopard print velvet evening jacket. This was a gift given to me by my dear friend Estelle, which was so incredibly generous of her. It's got this really fabulous silk lining. It's in fabulous condition. I don't often wear it because I am just frightened of damaging it and it is nearly 100 years old now. It's got this fabulous bow detail with these big handmade buttons and I just feel absolutely incredible in this. One of the things about vintage is that you just can't find these fabrics anymore. This really soft, incredible leopard print velvet is just sublime. I think if I were an item of clothing, I would definitely be this really beautiful jacket. I love to wear it styled up with maybe my Lucille trousers or over the Bella tea dress. And I have a lovely clutch bag that I'm gonna show you later, also a gift from Estelle, that I really like to wear with this. I will be styling up some outfits at some point this month and I will share them with you. My favorite winter coat is this very late 50s, early 60s coat made from a beautiful boucle wool with a fur collar. I don't personally have a problem with vintage fur, but I am totally respectful of the fact that some people do. I absolutely love this coat. It's so warm and cozy, and I always feel really, really happy when I put this on. It's got these fabulous buttons on it. It's in the most immaculate condition. I bought it from Beyond Retro in London 
and it was the bargainous price of £65 and it really has stood the test of time. Still in great condition and every winter when I get this coat out I really feel like I'm greeting an old friend. Of course the universal law of filming anything for YouTube means that immediately somebody starts drilling or doing work in their garden. So if you can hear some drilling noise in the background I'm so sorry I can't really do much about it and I'm very excited to keep sharing my very favourite vintage and thrifted finds with you today. I have always really loved kimono and I have often spent time researching traditional Japanese methods of kimono production. There was a wonderful exhibition at the V&A that I went to a few years ago and I'm lucky enough to have some kimono that I really really love. I have them hanging on my wall because I really enjoy just looking at them. So I have these two very long kimono the pink with the cranes which I think is more of a bridal kimono was gifted to me by my best friend on my 40th birthday so is a really treasured piece that I have. This other one was a thank you gift for helping a very lovely bride many years ago when I was doing bridal wear creating her very special dress for the day and she wore a kimono over an evening gown for her evening ceremony service and I did some alterations on her dress and she bought this back from the Kyoto flea market for me as a thank you gift so I really really love this one they're both very long they've got the beautiful dip dyed edging and I just find it fascinating how they're all put together and then I have this short kimono jacket Hayori jacket that I bought from Hawk and Dove Vintage a really lovely vintage clothing seller who has a shop here in the old town just around the corner from my little cottage by the sea so it's always lovely to go and see what she has. This really lovely kimono I wear all the time and one of the great things about these pieces are that they're incredibly warm so the way that the beautiful fabrics are are woven makes them very dense this Japanese crepe. This rather fabulous and psychedelic looking jacket was actually handmade by my aunt for my father in the 70s it explains a lot about him he was a bit of a hippie into Led Zeppelin psychedelia and the Lord of the Rings and this was something that he wandered around in quite a cool man probably explains quite a lot about me and why I'm the way that I am I used to love dressing up in this and pretending that it was a sort of a 1920s flapper jacket and I don't wear it now particularly it's it's a little bit bright and it kind of makes me think of parrots the the colors in it but it's a very beautiful fabric maybe it was from somewhere like Liberty I don't know it looks very much their sort of thing and it's a real treasured item but as I said some of these vintage pieces are not necessarily things that I would wear they're just part of my collection and things that I just admire and enjoy gazing at and this is just one of the only pieces that I have left from my incredible dressing up books that really did start this journey of wanting to create vintage things and I will treasure this forever. The next few items are dresses and I don't actually have that many vintage dresses. I tend to make dresses that are vintage inspired. First up is this incredible find that I got from a local antique clothes store, vintage clothes store, I mean it is antique really, called Sunless Antiques. They're based in St Leonard's and they basically bring things over from France. So this was found in France where maybe there's still a wonderful selection of vintage, I don't really know. But this dress is the most me dress that I think I have ever seen. A black cold rayon, it's the most beautiful, heavy, drapey fabric with these tiny little pink beaded bows sewn onto the bodice. Got some incredible design details in terms of decorative placement of darts and the shaped yoke panels and seam lines on it it really is a marvel it needs a little bit of repair it was about 75 pounds i think which i 
think is an absolute bargain and the brilliant thing is it actually does fit me so I've just sort of had it again hanging on a door so that I can look at it and gaze upon it and enjoy the loveliness but I'm going to be repairing it so that I can wear it and enjoy it black and pink are my absolute favorite combination so i hope that i have many lovely times in this very beautiful french dress my next vintage treasure to share with you is this pink shirt waist dress which i love and i wear all the time i got this again from hawk and dove vintage based here in hastings and it was in the sale bin bargain rail section of the shop and was only 10 pounds i resized it and repaired it and i'm assuming that it's from the late 40s early 50s it's got the most fabulous dolman style sleeves it's a really beautiful fabric it's a pink cotton sateen with this sort of ladder effect woven throughout it and the way in which the panels have been cut play with the position of this which is a really fabulous idea working with stripes and maybe a fabric that's got a stripe woven through it you can do sort of interesting things like playing with the direction to create interest absolutely love this dress i wear it all the time in the warmer months and i'm looking forward to putting this on once the weather warms up here in hastings the last dress i want to share with you is one of my most favorite things that i have it's this black wiggle dress, beaded evening cocktail dress that was originally from Harvey Nichols and I bought it from a shop here in Hastings called Wardrobe, which is sort of a dress agency. The lady who runs it sells clothes for people taking a percentage and there's always lots of really interesting vintage in there, but also new and designer so a, a huge mix of things but i happen to find this i think i remember paying about 85 pounds for this it was about 10 11 years ago now at the time it did fit me it doesn't fit me anymore and actually some of the beadwork is coming off and needs to be repaired it's slightly on the delicate side but it still has its original metal zip i think it came with a belt but it no longer has the belt i love this incredible swag detail of this dress and the quality of the fabric and the weight of the fabric is absolutely unparalleled i so wish that I could get my hands on some really beautiful black cold rayon from the time, just bolts of it so that I could sew everything in it because I love it so much. This dress is truly stunning and one that I feel will stay in my archive for a very long time. Next up, I wanted to share a couple of tops with you. And the first one is this blouse that I am wearing, which was the extortionate price of one pound 49 pence in oxfam a charity shop in hastings town center and it's got this wonderful pussy bow and pie crust collar it's got little bound buttons and these epic sleeves that are going on here absolutely love this it's not the loveliest of fabric i think it's some kind of polyester it still had labels in it and i think it is a copy of a gucci print and a gucci style that was on the catwalk a few years ago when alessandro michele was still head designer there i always feel incredible in this and it was totally worth breaking the bank and spending £1.49 on. One of the things that I always find and seem to buy in vintage and particularly charity shops are white embroidered blouses. This beautiful white blouse is my favourite, another Hawk and Dove vintage find. Apologies, it's not particularly well ironed. It needs a really good steam and a good press, but it has this fabulous statement collar, voluminous sleeves. I feel a little bit like Byron when I wear this blouse, and that is a very good thing indeed. It's really, really comfortable, and I love wearing it actually when it's very sunny because, as you can see, I'm rather pale and I tend to burn. So I like these white blouses, even if I wear them and just sort of knot them at the front over maybe strappy sundresses. This beautiful embroidered collar is a fabulous feature and it reminds me of the Miu Miu blouses that were out a few years ago now and 
statement collars are still a massive thing and I think go large or go home whether that's talking about your vodka your collars or anything else you could have fun with we all have that one piece that we find when we're out treasure hunting which is literally the find of our lives and for me that is this Vivian Westwood red label skirt that I found in a charity shop in Bexhill which is a little town along the coast from me. It still had its label swing tickets in it and it was brand new. It was my size at the time and it was £50. If you spend time with me here in my little cottage by the sea if you're on my Patreon where I talk a lot about my love of Vivian Westwood you will know how exciting this was for me it's made from this incredible brocade that's got a sort of a bit of stretch in it and it's just so interesting to see how the skirt is constructed famously Dame Viv pattern cut everything in quarter scale on a little stand and tried to bring her sustainability ethos into all of her designs so that things were cut from say a meter of fabric and then that meter would be folded onto and and draped onto the stand and then her pattern cutters would translate that into real size garments but i just adore this skirt so much unfortunately it's a little bit tight on me at the moment and much as I am about self-acceptance and I'm very happy with my shape and size and where I am in my life right now, it would be nice to get into this skirt. I think it's just a little bit of healthier eating for a couple of months. In no way would I advocate starving or denying myself a healthy diet just to get into something but I think that it won't take very much for me to be able to wear this. And I'm gonna be 50 this year and it would be lovely to be able to wear this beauty on my 50th birthday. Moving on to accessories and I have a few accessories that I really love and I do use all the time. The first is this really lovely clutch bag that again my lovely friend Estelle gave me she knows me so well I think it's a 30s 40s piece probably 30s and it's made from some kind of lizard snake skin with a silver art deco -y clutch it's in beautiful condition it even has its little mirror inside and I love wearing this with the leopard print jacket that she also gave me I'm not really a lover of brown and earthy tones but I do really love the beautiful quality of these very, very old items that were once part of somebody else's story, wardrobe story, style story, and now are part of mine. The next accessory that I want to share is this beautiful 1940s bag. It may actually be 1930s, might actually be 1950s, not 100% sure. It's got this really beautiful filigree and it's fully lined. The The actual mechanism of this clutch is a little bit loose now and on the more delicate side, so I'm not really using it so much. I bought this from Wardrobe, the same shop as the Harvey Nichols dress, and I just really, really love this bag. One of the things I really love to do is to collect motifs, items, that are thematic and I can then wear with my handmade and vintage and thrifted finds. So I found these two items, this bag and this belt separately. The belt, which is a suede with these gold hearts on, was from Hawk and Dove Vintage a very long time ago now. And then the little bag, this little box bag with the little heart clasp on it was from a charity shop in Bexhill I think it only cost a couple of pounds and I love wearing these together and as I add to my sustainably curated wardrobe in the future I'm definitely going to be looking for these sort of motifs throughout and then you can wear them all together and it gives a really cohesive look I do like buying things in sets and I tend to stick to certain colours 
on the whole as you know so it's a, a really easy way to pull a look together for example my marlena beret i might look for a really lovely heart brooch a gold heart brooch that i can wear on that and then when i have the bag and the belt it sort of all goes together the next thing and there's only a couple more now is another item that i have managed to keep hold of from my dressing up box from when i was a child and it's this very beautiful lace scarf it needs a clean and a bit of tlc which i'm going to attend to once i've finished filming it's incredibly beautiful though i think it's edwardian going into the teens maybe and i used to wear it as a, a scarf around my head but it looks very beautiful around the neck and i'd really like to be wearing it again but it's one of those items that just fills me with memories i had quite a complicated childhood so my dressing up was a real solace for me and the place where i associated clothes with those films that i was watching from the golden age of hollywood and it it sparked the joy so whenever i have that same sort of feeling that childish joy of finding these vintage and thrifted treasures out in the wild or online it really takes me to a happy place i've recently been really loving vintage a brilliant way of getting sustainable items into your wardrobe and they seem to cater for all sorts of styles not in any way sponsored by vintage i've just been really enjoying vintage particularly for shoes i've found some really great shoes and these are my most recent finds i'm not sure when they're from like what year they're from but how fab is the shape here and they've got tassels and then they've got these incredible little shaped what i kind of think of very early 20th century shape heel going into the 20s i've not actually even tried them on they're from next and they were made in spain so I don't know how vintage they are. They seem like a very strange thing to come from next. They're a beautiful suede. And I just thought they were so incredibly beautiful. And they were only about eight pounds and they're in immaculate condition. I hope you've enjoyed this little look at some of my vintage and thrifted wardrobe treasures, my favorite vintage and thrifted finds, going all the way back to my childhood. I am such a magpie and I love shopping and the thrill of finding pieces in vintage and charity shops and online now because that's another wonderful resource if you want to buy vintage items. It's also a great way of finding one-off pieces that you can add into your wardrobe to create some kind of unique looks. Thank you for spending time with me today in my little cottage by the sea. If you've enjoyed this and you're not already a subscriber then do click the subscribe button and come and hang out some more. I've got quite a few making videos on the way that I'm working on and a few other treats in store for you this February. I hope that wherever you are in the world my lovelies you're keeping safe and well and also that your life is filled with love. I shall see you soon. Bye!